Good morning everyone. I'm vlogging today. I don't know why I love starting my vlogs in this bedroom. I think it's the lighting. It's very nice. You can sit at the window. As you can see, I've done my hair and my makeup and I've actually, I've made an effort today. Oh, this radiator is very hot. Should I give you a little bump update? Bump is getting... Getting there. <laughs> Do you see? Well, as you're watching this, I'll be, I'll be over halfway now, which is just crazy. The first bit just seems to go so slowly. And then before you know it, you're halfway and you're like, how, how's that happened? And I can only imagine. And I, in fact, I do remember Maddie saying this to me that the last bit just goes apart from the very last bit, which she said, just felt like it really dragged that this bit just goes really quickly and i agree it's going very very quickly also where i still haven't done my first trimester video i will do that but amy and i have handed in the first manuscript for uh the magpie society two for joy which obviously i am ecstatic about because that was one project that basically consumed me for the start of the year that and creating a baby <laughs> and uh now that we've done the first draft i just feel a little bit more like free creatively i will definitely at some point this week sit down film that video and it will be coming out shortly after this one so don't worry it's coming and i'm sorry it's taken me so long it's a good job i actually made notes on it on my phone because the further away i get from it the less I really remember of it. It's so strange. When you're in it, it just feels like this huge thing that you're constantly thinking about. And like now that I'm in my second trimester, I'm already kind of forgetting what the first trimester was like. So thankfully I have a lot of very detailed notes on my phone, which I made like on a week by week um, basis. So. I can sit down and do that. What else can I update you on whilst I'm sat here by my window that I like to sit by? <laughs> Alfie and I still haven't really bought much, especially not in the way of like bigger items. We've definitely got a lot of really cute like clothes and like blankets. <laughs> None of those things are really kind of like, I mean, clothing is kind of practical, but um, you know, in terms of like, the bigger items, uh, we were really kind of waiting until we could go into an actual shop. Growing up, I don't know about you, but whenever I was in like a department store and you'd like walk through the baby section and you'd see people like testing the prams and like lifting things like, oh, how heavy is this car seat? What does it do? I would always be so excited for the day that I could do that. And obviously because of lockdown and the shops, the non-essential shops have been shut until last week, week before. So once those had opened up, Alfie and I were like, okay, well now we can like go to the shops and actually push some push chairs around and kind of get a bit more of like a physical feel for things. So we are gonna plan a day where we can go and push some push chairs around, <laughs> which I'm really excited about. In terms of like bigger, more practical items, we have nothing. <laughs> but we have some cute clothes. She's gonna, she's gonna look cute. But yeah, all is well. Um, let me know how you are in the comments as always and how your week's been. How have you found the world opening up a little bit? If you're here in the UK anyway. Oh, that's a massive bee. As I said, from the 12th of April, the shops were open and you can eat outside in restaurants with two households or six people. And I feel like, yeah, everything is starting to feel a little bit more like, okay, it's opening up. But I know that a lot of people have quite mixed, quite mixed feelings on it. This time last year, when everything started opening up, I actually found that really hard. Adjusting from it being just me and Alfie um, and, having quite a structure in our day and th okay this is how life is now to all of a sudden like oh wait yeah i guess we can go and meet these guys for brunch somewhere like i found that really weird <laughs> but this time around i don't think i'm putting as much pressure on myself and i'd love to know how you guys are finding it like are you finding it harder than you thought 
Are you not wanting to go anywhere? Um, have you found yourself feeling more anxious now? The first time I went into a supermarket because Alfie and I had been doing online food shops, I actually had to leave because I felt like panicked. So yeah, there's no right or wrong. Don't push yourself. Don't feel like because your friends are inviting you to something that you have to go. I feel like a lot of people will probably feel that pressure of like, we can now, so I should but you should still only do things that you feel comfortable and happy doing. So if you needed that reminder, then you're welcome. <laughs> still trying to drink my huge two litres a day. One thing that I thought was really funny was in the last vlog, so many of you said that my voice was different. I was like, really? I hadn't noticed that and no one around me has noticed that. So I don't know, I feel like it was because when I vlog, I speak a lot and I think my voice gets tired very quickly and I'm not used to it because of being in lockdown and only really speaking to Alfie, but also going three months where speaking made me feel sick. So I think I just, I think my voice box is just a little bit out of action or something, but I don't know, do I sound different? Is that a pregnancy thing? I don't know. I've made a hair appointment I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna get the old stennies. Although I have to say, I do quite like this length. This has grown a lot. I don't know if any of you remember, but I cut my hair to like here in 2018, I think. I had something new in my shower today, which I'm excited to share with you. As you guys know, I have worked with Function of Beauty for two years now, which is mind blowing. Um, it's the only shampoo and conditioner I ever use. Whenever you see my hair or whenever I get questions on like, what do you wash with your hair with? What do you use on your hair? How does your color look so good? How do you maintain it like that? It's always Function of Beauty. For any of you that might be new or don't know about Function of Beauty, Function of Beauty is a fully customizable hair care brand. So you can choose your hair goals and by taking the quiz on their website, you can get a completely tailored, customizable shampoo and conditioner for your hair and what you want to get from the shampoo and conditioner. Lots of you always ask me what mine is. So my profile is wavy, medium and normal. And my goals are anti-frizz, oil control, replenish hair, shine and thermal protection. You can choose the colors of your formulations, the fragrances of your formulations. You can get your names put on the bottles. Also over those two years, it's worth pointing out I've had both extensions, not extensions, really bleached hair, barely bleached hair and Function of Beauty has always worked so well. So it can completely change and adapt as life changes and adapts or your hair changes and adapts. If you get more colour in it for example you can add and change your goals to reflect that or I mean it's totally up to you. So the reason that I was so excited to wash my hair this morning was because they have just sent me their new fragrance. It's a limited edition fragrance for spring and it is the mango fragrance. Oh my god it smells amazing. I always opt for the strongest fragrance level um, but you can adjust that as well which I think is really cool because some people don't want too much fragrance in their hair whereas I'm just like you give me all the fragrance I, I love it I love being able to like swish my hair and smell it <laughs> the actual fragrance is called takes two to mango my normal go-to fragrance for function of beauty is the peach one so I'm definitely more of a like fruity scent person when it comes to hair and body. Um, so when they said that this was gonna be one of their new fragrances, I think it's one of their like highest rated fragrances, this one. And I can see why, because it smells incredible. This would be such a nice like holiday smell. Obviously if we could go away on holiday. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The bottles are still a little bit wet because I, I just grabbed them out of my shower to show you, but. They also come with these really adorable stickers, which I have not stuck on my bottles yet because I was, <laughs> I basically just pulled them straight out of the box and ran straight into the shower. And as always, no sulfates, no parabens, and 
the formulations are cruelty free and 100% vegan as well. So if you haven't tried Function of Beauty before or you're just hearing about them for the first time or you just want to try the new spring fragrance then I will leave my discount code down below in the description box. You get 20% off your order. Um, I highly highly recommend it as always. There's a reason I've been using these hair care products for two years. I love them. I recommend them to everybody. Um, so yeah, go and check it out. Also worth pointing out they do other hair care products as well. They also do body care products and a shower gel. Um, but I use this hair serum after I've done my hair. Smooths. What the hell was that? Um, just to smooth any flyaways. And give my hair a gorgeous glossy finish. So I'm basically done for the day now. Since being pregnant. I don't make as much effort. <laughs> I say since being pregnant. Probably has something to do with the fact that we were in a lockdown too. I just haven't been making as much effort with my hair and makeup. And I actually had a little bit of a makeup clear out um, over the weekend. And it made me rediscover so many kind of products that I'd bought or been sent that I was like, oh, I haven't tried that yet. Um, so it has kind of reignited, like I've used like a NARS palette on my eyes this morning instead of the usual um, brown, matte brown shade that I had been wearing <laughs> um, for like five months. I am actually heading to Poppy's garden for like an hour just to see her. I realised I hadn't been in Poppy's garden <laughs> since last like the end of summer last year I think um so I said to her like oh what are you doing this afternoon I might pop over and just see you just say hi <laughs> pop in so my plan for this vlog is to film some clips today and kind of update you all on like baby bits and what I've been up to and then I actually filmed lots of footage when I first saw Mark that was a couple of weeks ago but I hadn't gotten around to editing it so I was like oh like everyone's gonna want to see that so I'm gonna put that at the end of this vlog so that you guys can also watch that as well because that was such a lovely day. I'm back from Pop and Sean's garden. It was so nice we got a Oaxaca delivery which was delicious and we played card games and sat in the garden and it was so lovely it's actually much less windier at Poppy and Sean's than it is at ours so it felt really warm and like like we were on holiday little outfit of the day I am wearing this cardigan which I actually got years ago I feel like it's from is it Topshop yeah it's a Topshop one and then this dress which I got last summer from um, Urban Outfitters and I love it. I feel like the bump looks big today. It might be because I've just eaten. <laughs> so I'm either gonna go and sit in the garden for a bit or should probably um, go through some of my emails and just double check there's nothing like super urgent work wise to do. Amy and I are starting on our second drafts now. So probably do need to be getting on those. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna finish my innocent smoothie and flick through my emails. One thing that is very new since like 10 days ago is that I can now feel baby kicking, moving, squirming, rolling, elbowing, whatever it is she's doing in there. Head and headbutting. And I started feeling it and I was like, whoa, like right now she's doing something. What is she doing? Kicking downwards. She's kicking down into my bladder as well, which is an, a feeling I've never felt before. I wish I could know what it feels like. like I know, I wish inside. I could put it inside you just for like 10, like just for 10 minutes for you to feel what it feels like from the inside. But you said it feels really comforting. Like I, feel I like love it. Feel like, like already you said yesterday, you're like, I'm going to miss when I don't feel this. Yeah, like I, I love it. I you love it. I mean, I feel like some people are going to be watching this like, just you wait, wait till it's your rib or like, wait yeah. till it's like, there's been a few, 
that have been so hard <laughs> that it's made me like <gasps> like almost took my breath away and I was like whoa because it's like it's just such a bizarre feeling I don't know when it was that I first it was after a cake pop do you remember mm, I had a cake nice pop and I said stuff. to you I feel like I can month. feel for a couple of days I kept saying to Alfie like I think I can feel movement but I'm not sure because I know it it was that it was at about week 18. I know that a lot of people do feel movement like quite early and lots of people had said that to me but I didn't want to get confused with like gas bubbles and like feel silly so for a while I kept saying to you didn't I like I don't know if it is or isn't but it kind of feels like it could be but it's probably just gas. And especially at first it's more like little flutters rather than I can't up. really see no, you. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was, at first I said to Alfie it felt like um like a little like pins and needles but like from the inside very quickly and then I was like okay no I definitely felt something after I'd had a cake pop and then I swear literally the next day I said put your hand on my tummy. Yeah it was the next day. And Alfie felt, Alfie felt it. No but that was, that was so annoying because we so nearly got it on camera. But, but we didn't. <sighs> She's currently kicking. Which is I the can... first time I've ever felt it just now. I can feel. It's every time I eat a cake pop. She fucking loves the cake pops. And then we were, I was sat on the floor and it was like, whoa, I felt that. And then it was, it was literally like the first one was like a little swipe across the stomach. Mm -hmm. And then the second one was just straight like <laughs> punch straight or kick. Punch. Like it was like, yo, I'm in here. And now we're just like. And now she doesn't stop. But also we can see it. Like I wonder if we'll be able to get one on camera. I've tried so many times today to I've get got it on, on my phone. phone. Yeah, but, you can, but see... you can see my whole like vagina. Yeah, it's not the best. Because <laughs> she was kicking so low down yesterday. You but like it's there, so exciting. I love it. Which I just want to throw out and say that you didn't think you would like. Like for those of you that are... I thought I would find it very claustrophobic. Early, early pregnant. Zoe thought that she would find it, yeah, like, oh my god, there's something in me and I can't stop it and I, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. We, we spoke about that a lot of times and now you're like, I don't want it to stop. I know. And even now I'm like, I'll think like, oh, she hasn't done it in a while. Today, she's been the most active ever. I feel like she's hardly stopped. Usually, she would only kick if I had something quite, either cold water or something really sugary. And then I knew she would like kick about. But today I was just driving in the car and she was going crazy. And I was like, I'm like, like normally I, I wouldn't be feeling her. It's normally when I'm lying down or like when I wake up in the morning or if I stop, then I can feel it. Um, but today it's just been constant. Even when I'm walking around, I can, I can feel when she like goes for it. Even in one of our first ultrasounds, he was like, um, She's an active little monkey. Cool. Well, he didn't know it was a she then, did he? So he was like, oh, um, it's, an active, it's an active little monkey or you've got an active little monkey or mm -hmm. something. Cause in every scan, she was like upside down. Then she would flip, then she would roll around. She never stayed still on a scan. And I did think at the time, what will that feel like when she does that? But it is so like, I could just sit and like feel it all day. I love feeling it. It blows my mind that she's literally still so young and you can feel it. Like she's still so small kind of thing. And you we could I mean? see it from outside. You can see. I, in fact, I pulled my dress up strong. earlier and I could see it. I'm telling you, she is ready for all the activity. She's going to be energetic and strong. She's going to be bouldering. This she's is probably also gonna come not up very flattering. Yeah, I reckon within the first couple of weeks she'll be on the mini ramp skating. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Also, Nala was lying like this across my tummy, which she likes to do this morning, and she was kicking where Nala was. But Nala feel her? I think probably if Nala actually gave a shit, <laughs> she would have been like, what was that? <laughs> But I could like stick my hands underneath Nala now and nudge her and she's yeah, not really care. fussed. So I don't think she was at all phased, but she was kicking underneath Nala this morning. 
Just wait until it's like an actual foot poking through your stomach. I know, I can't wait. Oh, someone's ringing someone. Someone's ringing me. So Alfie and I have, whoa, um, just put some warmer clothes on and we're gonna head to the beach. Shit, I don't have a coat. Oh well, I don't have time. So we've come to the beach for sunset with these two. Hello, hello. Hello. We've got Kevin McAllister. <laughs> this is what he does when it's not December. <laughs> he resides in Brighton. <laughs> I get cold really easily. Same. I feel like us sugs just are always cold. Yeah. I don't get to my toes with my fingers. Or mine. Yeah. And Alfie, who didn't bring a coat. I just well, up, I? I feel like I got one in the car and I just left it. Food has arrived. We sat at Rock Water. Wowza. Look at that pizza. The boys have gone for chicken and chorizo. Look at that pizza. Mm. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Your eyes look so blue. Look yeah, they do pizza. actually. I think it's the light. Do mine? Like mm. Yeah. The <laughs> mine look really blue. <laughs> Mm. It's this light. And yours. It's like that blue light. Hello, mate. We're back. I didn't film too much because there was a lot of people around. It was freezing cold and I just wanted to keep my hands in my jacket pocket to be honest. Um, but it was so, so nice just being like out and watching the sunset having drinks, I had my Sprite, I was happy. Joe and Diane, was cool. Joe and Diane had a great time. Yeah, it was really, really nice. And um, we're back now and I need to defrost because it got cold quick. The minute that sun went down and the wind picked up, oh my God, it was freezing. So I'm running myself a quick bath. I'm gonna get in, lather myself in oil, and jump into bed. As I said earlier, I have the footage from when Mark came over, so I'm gonna insert that now. Enjoy, hope you love it, and um, I'll see you again soon. Good morning. Hello everybody. I'm seeing Mark for the first time in, since October. No, that's a lie, since December. <laughs> when we went to the garden center, that was the last time I saw him. That was during Vlogmas when he uh, drove into a hedge instead of reverse backwards. Stay safe. Oh. So that was the last time I've seen him. So I do actually think, well, it's nearly April now, so that's three whole months. I feel like that's the longest we've ever, since being friends, haven't seen each other. Unless last, unless last year this time, when we first went into lockdown was also around the same amount of time but still it feels like a lifetime and i'm really really excited to see him he's popping over this afternoon into the garden and thankfully it is the most wonderful day so we can just sit out there catch up chat we have no plans apart from just catching up and seeing each other before he arrives though i have told myself that i will write a chapter <laughs> So that's what I'm about to go and do now. I'm actually gonna put the umbrella up outside, I think, and sit at the table outside and see how much of it I can get done before he arrives. Sat outside and I have just finished um, another chapter. So I'm really happy about that. And I've still got 50 minutes until Mark arrives. So I'm going to start on another one. <laughs> this, by the way, is my attempt at trying to drink more water i'm really bad at drinking water i always have been i think i'm just a walking talking dehydrated person at all times i think my body is just used to it <laughs> being pregnant i have to make sure i'm drinking as much water as i should be drinking which is between 1.5 and 2 liters a day this is a two liter bottle i got this on amazon it's my new favorite thing ever <laughs> <laughs> has a really big straw a handle like a handle here a handle here a handle here but it's the motivational quotes for me that's what makes me get i mean i haven't refilled this since last night i haven't drunk this much already today <laughs> fill it up to two liters and then it says 7 a.m good morning 9 a.m you've got it 11 a.m keep drinking 
Um, 1 p.m. never give up, 3 p.m. one more drink, 5 p.m. for health, 7 p.m. almost finished, 9 p.m. bingo, good job. And in between that, about 12 peas a day. <laughs> Who is it? Let's have a look. Who is it? Is that Mark? trying to say hello we wait a minute wait a minute let him come out no let him come out Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh lovely, aren't you lucky? Yeah. Is that what you wanted? She's walking on two legs. Walking. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> tiny, what happened? You look smaller. Nala, yeah, sit! So Good girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, swallowed in one. <laughs> Done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> card? Christmas card. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I love a card. We don't do Christmas cards, do we? Do we? Sometimes I get you one and sometimes I don't. I'm a bit inconsistent. Is this my birthday card? Yeah. That you were really excited about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You, you are the Jenny to my Lee. Right, no, Thank no. you, I love that. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. They're both gonna think I've lost the fucking plot. Mate, but... you never had it. <laughs> I was gonna say, lost what? <laughs> but I wanted to give you something for what's brewing mm -hmm. that you'll never forget. You probably haven't got it. And I wanted to make you something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you made it? Yeah. I, in my it. head, I'm, I cannot imagine what this is. It's like a pet mouse. When I wrapped it this morning, I was like, they're going to think I've lost it. But I just wanted something special. But that's why I love you. Because <laughs> you never had it. No. And neither did I. <laughs> Wait, try and guess what it is first. I, honestly, something you made. Wait, if made. you made it. <laughs> what can you make for a baby? Like you've made a wooden dummy. We'll just have a little look. A wooden dummy? <laughs> a little pacifier. <laughs> Picked out the scent as well. <laughs> you didn't make that. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Let me see his face. <laughs> so, Do you know what? That's actually really cute, but it's also kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy that his, his bum's like falling in. <laughs> but I was just like, what are they not going to get? <laughs> but they can have forever. We're definitely not going to get one of them. So we won't like this one then? <laughs> no. It's even got hair. I know. Do you know what though? It was this size once. <laughs> mm? Just something special to keep on the mantle. <laughs> You hate it. <laughs> she oh, lied to it. She can lie to it on her 18th birthday. Yeah. She can Aww. lie to it. I'd be like, do you know what? You know Uncle Mark? Oh. She'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, do you want to see what he got you when you were in my tummy? <laughs> I just wanted to get you something different that I made. That's so cute. But yeah, it's falling to pieces a little bit. Let me smell. Okay. Let me smell its thumb. Yeah. Oh. Told you. Is it a good that one? That is lovely. Have you done lots oh, of candles really in good. that smell? Yeah. 
That's really good. Is that like good, an oil or a perfume? It's a, what are they called? Essential oils. Oh, that's so good. But yeah, just a little something. Thank you. That's really cute. I'll little make sure one. it's not left in the sun because that'll melt in a second. Okay, I've got another baby. <laughs> then it present. won't look as cute. <laughs> just keep it forever. Don't ever light it. We turn around, it's just melted on the side. <laughs> yeah. Don't put it on a radiator. <laughs> this is just something. Like, just if you're ever feeling down or sad or a little bit like <clears throat> unsure about yourself. I just saw it and I was just like, I'm going to be cringy and I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that dog gone? She's there. Oh, Next she's not, not far from you. <laughs> yeah. It's really cringe, but I thought it would be cute. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. Why you're my bestie. You fill it in. I filled it in, yeah. You've already you filled it in. Yeah. Oh my God, stop. You'll make me cry. <laughs> no, don't, because I'm actually on, on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> That is so, that's such a cute idea. Oh, I know, I saw it and I was just oh like. Oh my God, the <laughs> sentimental person in me is like dying right now. I know, I knew you'd like it. That's such a nice idea. Thank you, I don't want to read them all because I want to save them. Yeah, you should not, yeah, don't look at it until you like. You I'll be like, oh, something. I need yeah. a, yeah. Little oh, pick me up. thank you, that's so cute. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, I You're love so them all. Welcome. You spoiled me. It's just so hard, isn't it? Five years now? Easier. Imagine being with someone for bloody coming up nine. Oh, yeah. No idea what. Is it coming up nine? It's nine this year, baby. Yeah. Baby. Baby. <laughs> October nine years. No, we'll have a. She'll come before, before our nine, our years, nine yeah. years. Yeah. Oh my god, I still can't get over it. I will have a baby before your birthday. Oh my god. You will get a present from our baby. Can I? Oh my god. She'll make You're a candle a of you. Candle. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna make a candle, a life size oh candle of you. I'm gonna sell now, found a sell now. Oh my god, my face has got goosebumps. <laughs> Baby. It's on a song clown. <laughs> I no, you're singing it in Simlish. <laughs> oh, I thought you were getting up. Yeah, Go on. <laughs> He's waiting for the drop. <laughs> Three, two, one. If you don't want to see me dancing with somebody. Oh, a nice little formal dance. <laughs> I, do, I, do get, I do get scared in the, in the country sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to have to take this jumper off because I just looked at the actual temperature. And it's bloody 23 degrees! Jesus. What a day to be reunited on as well. It's like they knew. And yeah. we planned this day. Yeah. Without knowing what the weather was going to be like. No. Can you dance? Can I dance? Mm. Well, you tell me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dance Am I okay me? at dance? <laughs> Can you give me a little, a little, little a little cheeky dance? Because I, like, I feel like I'm going to be learning. I've never had like anyone that close to me. Oh, pregnant. you mean because I'm pregnant, yeah. can you dance? I thought you just meant, oh. like, are you good at dancing? I was like, well, I don't know, I'm all right. <laughs> got a bit of rhythm, but I've don't expect anything crazy. <laughs> You'd love it. It should be like, fuck. Like, What's going on, mama? Don't start now. <laughs> First song she loves. Oh, She'll soon be able to hear your voice. Oh, my God. I sing to her. What are you going to sing? You don't. <laughs> Anything with like known lyrics or just... <laughs> Which song do you know all the lyrics to? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Three Little Mice. How does that go? Three little mice sat on my window. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a Cor Corin Bailey Ray song. Three little birds. <laughs> Do you mean three blind mice? Yeah, that's it. See how they run? They all run after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Sure, I just don't want to learn that, does she? Well, mm, not from her Uncle Mark. <laughs> no, maybe something like, oh, what's like a really upbeat, like... A 1D song. Oh, yeah. What's your fave? Nala does not like this song. <laughs> the story of my life take her home i drive all night to keep her warm inside <gasps> <I'm frozen. laughs> that's a nice one yeah. you've still got five months to learn it yeah five Our months my favorite film's gonna be the witches she's gonna know 
every word before she's even out, isn't she? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She'll be like, Mark, can you babysit me? And Alfie will go, and I'll be like, yeah, we'll just watch the witches. Or when I'm like really heavily pregnant and I can't even get off the sofa, I'm going to make you come around and we're just going to watch films all day. Sounds this. And they'll all be the witches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Witches, Hocus Pocus, Home Alone 2. Witches. Witches. Home Alone 1. Witches. witches. <laughs> but we should also watch Witches. <laughs> <laughs> what about yeah. Witches? Sounds blue. <laughs> so one of the presents that I got from my friend Danielle for my birthday was this. The Big Fat Activity Book for Pregnant People. And in it we have a quiz. Little pregnancy base knowledge level. Oh, here we go. <laughs> quiz. So I thought I might ask Mark a couple of these questions. See if he knows the answers. Question Nervous. number one What is vernix? Is it A, the plural for vulva? B, the girl version of a taint? C, baby cheese? Or D, the emotion you feel towards your dog when he pees on the corner of the bed. What is Vernix? Vernix. Vernix. I reckon it's A. Vulva. The plural for vulva. Yeah. The answer is. It's not baby cheese. It's baby cheese. Are you joking? <laughs> Vernix. 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 So when they're born, sometimes they have this white, like waxy stuff on them. Cute. And that's called the baby cheese. Oh. Okay. Which of these can you not do now that you're pregnant? Okay. A, shave your bikini line. B, have sex. C, pick stuff up. Or D, be emotionally stable. A, can't shave your, your purse. You can't shave your purse. <laughs> <laughs> you can still do all of these things, but you get to use pregnancy as an excuse to not do any of them. Oh. <laughs> That's a cheat. So don't worry, I can still shave my bikini line. Lovely. <laughs> Three, speaking of sex, what's the best position when pregnant? Is it A? Doggy. Mission <laughs> He's confident with that one. Oh my god. Missionary, doggy, that thing where you both lay on your side that never actually works, or the depth of my not caring is infinite. DJ doggy. Three, whatever sexual position is comfortable for you is A-OK. -okay. Even if said position is get off, you're making life. Do what you want, girlfriend. No. What is the afterbirth? Oh, I know that. Who? Is it the umbilical cord? Yep. The placenta? The excess fluid that's still in your body for a couple of weeks after you have the baby? Or D, the part where someone brings you some wine? C. The excess fluid? Yeah. That's the afterbirth? Yeah. Technically, the afterbirth is B, the placenta. Oh. Once you have a baby, yeah. you've then got to give birth to the placenta. So that could happen any day after your... It happens straight after. Oh, straight after, okay. Yeah, <laughs> any day. Any day now, that <laughs> drop out. <laughs> uh, Did you learn anything? Well, yeah, I know baby cheese is called Vene. <laughs> Vene. Vernix. Vernix. A little bit later, it's about... 3.45 and Mark has just offered to nip to McDonald's and get us a little cheeky snack <laughs> slash early dinner um, but this is my time of day where I just have this tiny niggling little bit of nausea left it's about half three to five I still just don't feel great um, so Mark was like, I'm going to go and get us a McDonald's. And I was like, oh God, I love you. Um, and the one thing actually that has curbed my nausea through the tri first trimester and now, just at this time of day, is a Sprite. This is actually a no sugar Sprite, but it's just, I think it's just like the sweet fizziness of it. I don't actually know. So while he's gone to McDonald's, I'm going to lie down <laughs> and I'm going to sip my Sprite, which is also what I had to do yesterday. So funny, that's just the one little thing. It just at this time of day, I don't even have to check what time it is. It's like I know from how I feel. I'll be like, oh, somewhere between half three and four because I'm feeling nauseous. <laughs> um, hopefully 
that doesn't last much longer. Every day it's less and less um, sicky. <laughs> but I'm just gonna lie down and think of the chips, which also has been one of my, um, not cravings, but usually if you ask me what's the best part of a McDonald's, I would say to you the burger or, you know, the chicken nuggets. Oh, I'm burpy because I'm drinking Sprite. The chips are never my go-to. Since being pregnant, all I want to eat is chips chips and dip sweet chili dip and curry sauce dip and just the mcdonald's chips just oh can't wait cannot wait never know <laughs> songs around the campfire <laughs> it was all yellow <laughs> look at the stars look how for you i was hoping you'd see them in the camera but i don't think you can and every little thing you do <laughs> They're all yellow 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 <laughs> You can hear a, a, a wendigo <laughs> <laughs> A what? A wendigo What's that? It's like humans are If they eat each other They turn into a wendigo What? Yeah, I know If you google it I've been playing this game called Until Dawn And basically it's a myth In certain areas If you eat a person Whilst they're still alive but kill them, you turn into a Wendigo. Oh, did you hear that, Niles? <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, let's put the mood down. Campfire stories. <laughs> tell your worst ghost story. Yeah. This is lovely. This is. What a beautiful day it's been. I know, we've had so much fun. I've loved seeing you. I've loved seeing you more. Aww. It's been a long time. Here he is. What have you gone for? A bowl of cereal? We just spent so long in there trying to find something good to eat. We have nothing. Oh, Nala, be careful, you're going to cook yourself. So what have you gone for? Uh, a bowl of cereal. <laughs> <What> cereal? <laughs> to be fair, that's the best kind of dinner, oh, I think. Oh, flashlight's on. Flesh. <laughs> Your flashlight. <laughs> flashlight's still on. <laughs> I people. What? I don't know, I just get so scared. <laughs> I hear people. I know, it's only because I'm so used to hearing like crazy amounts of people. <laughs> and then when I come here, I'm like, I shouldn't be hearing that. <laughs> Mark's off. So nice to see you, my love. I mean, I like the last time I said goodbye, I was just like, oh, who knows when we're next to each other. I but know. Now it can be every day. I know. Maybe. Not long until you can stay round. Yeah, so it's not Two long, months. a month. Yeah, a Serious? month and a bit. Oh, a month and a bit. May 21st. 17th. Oh, 17th. <laughs> oh, I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's gone home now and Alfie and I are sitting down to watch The Syndicate which is on BBC One and this year their new series, is it series four I want to say or five? <laughs> series four. Um, Joe is actually in it which is so cool, like a proper like acting gig. I've also used to have that dressing gown, do you remember? Yeah. We've sat down to watch Joe. Are we going to watch this. it in here or are we going to go and watch it in bed? I don't know. What do you want to do? Do you want to watch it in here? I kind of feel like in here, but Should then we you said the you wanted to watch it in bed. No, it's okay. I'll watch it in here. No, we can go to bed if you want. No, I love you watching it too. Have you had a fun last couple of days? Been in the garden, haven't you? She'll sleep well tonight. Funny, when there's people in the garden now, she doesn't nap. Like, she that was naps. A cool edit. She naps a lot in the day, but since we've had people here, she's not been napping at all. I love this program. If you've never seen The Syndicate before, watch it. It's you are missing out. Brilliant. <laughs>